Welcome, viewers, back to Space Haven, where we follow the adventures of Emerson, Jimmy, Madeline, and Tala above aboard the HSS Horus. Their adventures through the interstellar reaches of space in search of a new place to call home. Although they are currently calling the HSS Horus home, having constructed it from Starting with nothing but a very, very small sc scouting ship, turn it into turn. They have managed to turn it into this luxurious, uh, self-sustaining, relatively self-sustaining colony ship, and they're on the lookout for new crew mem members to help them with their task of keeping themselves alive. So, in the most recent episode, we arrived at. Uh, this sector here, which we can see overview on the map, kind of the the third or so sector we've jumped to, maybe on in the second star system that these this crew has visited. There's some noble metals here we might mine, and there's a derelict here, which we're definitely gonna going to have the crew go take a look at as soon as they wake up and have had their morning meals. The last thing we did last episode was place several new doors. We also had a technical uh, issue where it crashed as we were trying to move the navigation console. We will revisit that today. Uh, we will leave Emerson and Tala behind to finish construct constructing the new doors. We're probably going to expand these... Um, system wings out a little bit so that we can insert a sensor array and a weapon, at least one weapon. I'd also like to expand our our hull strength a little bit. Um, I'm not sure we need to, so we haven't really run into pirates to see how much damage they will do yet. But I anticipate needing, needing, needing some more hull strength. All right, let's take a look at the crew. Slow this down for a second. Take a look at the crew as they go about their morning preparations. Emerson is first, as always. Emerson, our lawyer from before the apocalypse with the smart trait, seems to be the leader of the group, having the you know the most uh, assertive personality and the most intelligence. Emerson is in excellent mood today, although someone was already mean to him this morning. We can only guess who that might have been. His relationship with Madeline has deteriorated further today. Uh, Tala and Jimmy, he hasn't had any further deterioration with, but Tala definitely doesn't like him. Jimmy is in a much better mood because someone was actually nice to him. Someone thanked him. Jimmy, again, was a chemical engineer at the pre-apocalypse, and now he just lives to kill aliens with his bloodlust. He's already experiencing an uncomfortable environment because he immediately goes to work on the industry. Speaking of industry, we should put in a few orders for energy cells, which is going to require electronic components, so we can't do this. We're going, we're going to need to do that. We are on a goal. Our main goal currently is to find additional base metals, which we have run completely out of. I also noticed that our fertilizer amount is getting quite low. So I wanted to, first things first, look into adding a uh, fertilizer processor, which is composter. Composter, we definitely have everything we need to make it, and and you can just convert biomass directly into fertilizer. So we're going to try that. It also looks like it makes carbon. Okay, I was hoping that was base metals, but it's not. So let's stick this composter in. Our original plan had the composter down here. Let someone build that. Meanwhile, we're going to draft Ma Madeline. She's going to go over that derelict on her own. 
What's this? Warning high thermal radiation in sector. Uh oh. Probably monitor monitor the temperature here. We do have high temperature up here in this wing. The rest of the ship uh in the front of the ship. The rest of the ship looks fairly good, but it's also an indication that we need better thermal regulation throughout the ship, which is something we're gonna have to work on as we go. Madeline, you're being drafted. Um, I want you to just drop what you're doing. Get in there. And we will have that ship dock with the derelict once you're in there. Actually, we need to select that. Let's have it dock with the derelict. It does look like there's an airlock this time, so we're going to dock with this airlock here. The easy way. We'll speed that up while Madeline heads over there. Take a look. Everyone appears to be building doors or working on industry. Madeline, again, armed with her assault rifle. Actually, Madeline has the shotgun, excuse me. She has ducked. She's ready to go. We will release the craft so it can go wait for her back at the ship. The ship does look cold, so Madeline's in her suit. Cold and airless, so obviously she's in her spacesuit. No sign of aliens yet. There's a nice um, bridge here that she's found immediately. Proceeding inward to what looks like a kitchen. Probably a toilet in here. Come on, Matt. You have to actually go in there. Oh, a bedroom. All right, let's head her back to the airlock to replenish her oxygen. And she will continue to explore the other side of the ship. Looks like it's essentially a U-shape. There's a gap here she's going to have to fly over. She's doing fine. Didn't take much air to, to check out that side of the ship. A reminder on... Ah, she sees a bug there. A reminder on Madeline's skills. She was originally a scientist, and now she considers herself a hero. She tends to be the one we rely on to take care of the bug infestations on these derelicts. All right, that bug did get her a little. There's some more over here. Sit over here, Madeline. Maybe you can see them better from here. Okay, well, keep it up. You're doing fine. Let's see if you have a better angle. In fact, it looks like if you jumped over here, you'd be safe and you could get a good angle on that bug. No? Yes. Ooh, another one's coming. That's not a very good angle. It looks like you're shooting the hole. But at least you're hitting it. Good. Alright, hop over there. And there may be more in this doorway, Madeline. Be on your guard. Nothing. Oh, there's one. Quick, quick. What are you doing? Shoot it. <laughs> not that. Ah, she's been bitten. Did take some damage. Oh, another one behind her. She's taken a few minor hits, but they're not really doing a lot of damage to her. There we are. Ship has been secured. Just taking a look that there aren't any more data pads. Nope, nothing. Ah, right, you're undrafted. Let's see if you can get back to the ship. Um, Actually, let's send you back to the airlock manually just in case this path proves to be too difficult for you and once she's there we'll undraft that meanwhile let's take a look at what we can salvage from this ship hmm we have to claim it it's claimable i guess we'll do that which means we can just go in there and deconstruct anything that looks interesting uh, I would say probably the main consoles here are going to be most valuable. 
Maybe if there's a generator, we'll deconstruct that. We have plenty of infra blocks, so I don't really think we need to do the whole dismantle all the doors thing we did last time. Madeline, you're free to start working. You should have plenty of O2. You're getting a little tired there. Oh, there are engines. Let's dismantle this engine. I bet that gives us something interesting. And there is a generator here, so let's dismantle that as well. Um, possibly this whole... What would we get for dismantling this, I wonder? I'm not sure you get everything back from it that was in it, but I would guess you get most of it. Yeah, that's totally worth it. It's got infra, some energy, and some tech. So yeah, let's dismantle that as well. All right, that, may, that means that we may be here for quite some time, like a few days, for them to finish all those tasks. So that gives us some time to work on this ship over here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure we are composting from biomatter. Interesting. How does this work? It looks like we already have a job. I'm not sure what we're seeing here. Let's see. Oops. Greater than one. It looks like compost if more than. That's weird. So it's I think it's saying compost. Turn the biomatter into fertilizer if there's more than one is how I read this. Let's just check to see if that makes sense. Yeah. Which is the opposite of how of the way the rest of these resource conditionals work. It's always been a less than. That's why I was staring at that for a moment, wondering what was going on. Would be nice if we could find an energy cell there. Let's see if there's anything we could just straight up transfer here without deconstructing. Um, there's some fuel. That's nice. We're going to make sure to get the fuel in. fuel and food. Always a good call. Let's bring those over. Oh, I see. It's transferring the wrong way. Um, let's fix that. That's a bad idea. I want rules. I don't want anything here, so select it. Get rid of it all. Make sure... Oops. I don't need to see that. I think that rule alone is going to fix that transfer for us. Yes. The Porsche. The HSS Porsche. We are now transferring items out of it, not into it. Automatically. <laughs> Constantly getting updates about the broken HSS Porsche, so it's gonna it's going to make it a little difficult to see what's going on here, but as long as we pay attention to what we just added, we should be fine. I'm gonna bring up the jobs display here to make sure we're not overwhelmed. Good, it looks like we have a minimal set of jobs going on, so we do want to increase the size of the hull a bit. Mainly I want to extend these two wings out so that we can so that we can make kind of a line of systems at least two more there's no reason to have a wall um, there's no reason they can't just butt up against each other so for example if I put a turret here like I don't see why we couldn't move this oh, I see we need we need a way to get in that room so we can't move that shield over one there's no reason why we couldn't put them up against each other. Might be nice to have a path between them just for aesthetics. Uh, and we we will have a lot of room. So it looks like if we expand this um, hole by two in that direction, then again, if we want to keep it symmetric here, We'd want to expand it two in this direction and have these budding against each other. Right, and we did want to move this over to match this. So why don't we start there by moving this over rather than planning new systems. 
So if this is moved to here, then our shields are in symmetrical positions on our hull, which makes me happy. Also, this power can move over then. Let's do that as well. We will have to relink it, probably. But it's really only power in the shield, so that's not terrible. High thermal radiation. Let's keep an eye on the temperature, just in case that begins to go up. It doesn't look too terrible. Oh, these... It's not terrible, it's just not the greatest. All right, while they're moving that, we're going to extend the hole. So these things are three by three, which means I need a whole three by three area there to place a second. That's the wrong place. Let's start here. That's what we're looking for, I believe. And we'll do the same on this end. All right, so that should be our whole update for today. That's another two and a half whole blocks. Oops, I always push that button. All right. Those things are being moved. Interestingly, it doesn't appear to have dropped our shields. Oh, it did. Okay, so our shields went down to 25 while that's being moved. Probably going to make both of those shields complain that they don't have energy cells now. Let's take a look at the map where we might want to go next. So this is raw chemicals and a nebula. We don't know what is over there. And this is hyperfuel with meteor micro meteoroids, and there's an incoming pirate. All right, so that might mean we're going to have to cut short our investigation here and just move on. Um, let's take a look at how this is going. So Tala and Emerson are in spacesuits on our ship here for some reason. Looks like Emerson's going to drop off his suit right now. Tala is happy to work in hers for some reason. And nobody is over at the derelict. They just has Porsche right now. Checking on the transfers. Let's just make sure we were explicit. No, we don't want that meat. What am I doing? We don't really need the bug meat. <laughs> we do have plenty of tech, a good deal of energy. Kind of okay on hull, but since we're going to be running low on steel plates or we're out of steel plates, that's essentially the final five hull blocks we'll be able to make until we get until we get a uh, a new handle on steel plates. We're also fairly low on ice. Our ice counts down to four. I believe there was ice in this next system down here, wasn't there? Yes. So that might be the priority. Hopefully that nebula isn't too much of a hassle for us. Um, we might just cut this short, get out of here. How much noble metal do we have? Is it worth going to do the mining there? We have 11, probably enough for now. We can always come back here. I think we're going to finish this hole, get that shield up, and just jump out of here as soon as possible because I don't like how we're running low on water. Sorry, we're not really running low on water. We're running low on ice. We have plenty of water, plenty of fuel, plenty of energy. We even have some energy and crystals left over. Not sure why we're not processing that immediately. I guess, suppose it just takes a while. Everyone's on break. We're going to let them speed through their breaks at a moderate pace. They did not finish the hole tonight before they went on break. Although, possible somebody... Oh, the, the Emerson just got back from doing that. Hopefully they all go have some meals. Let's check on 
their food situation. Ah, oh, look, I saw one go down. So they are eating vegetables and fruit. They have a lot more vegetables than anything else. It might make sense to trade root vegetables for other food matter. It might also make sense to add an additional grow room. All right, it looks like everyone made it to bed. Not too bad. Taking a look. Emerson's lonely and awake. Jimmy spent some time in a slightly uncomfort, a minor discomfort environment. Madeline has spacesuit fatigue. She was on that derelict. Um, doesn't look like she got any wounds. I probably should have checked her earlier. Her relationships with the rest of the crew are continuously deteriorating. Hmm, it looks like even Tala and Emerson aren't getting along very well now. Luckily, they are all relatively good moon moods. Overall moods, except for Jimmy, who was down to 40 before, but he's coming up. Uh, everyone else looks like they're going to be in great mood tomorrow. Speed through the rest of the night. This is day 54 of the trip so far. So they've been out almost two months. Yeah, they are waking up, going about their tasks. Uh, once you've... Let's actually finish this hole before we decide to jump. Take a look to see if that pirate moved in the night. No. So did we finish this side? Yes, we did. Um, what is it going to take to add... A scanner. Do we have enough hole blocks? It only takes one. We have one hole block for the scanner. Oh, it's going to take one for each. So it looks like we do have enough to make both of these. Let's put an energy turret on one side. Let's put a scanner on the other side. I guess we're going to wait till that hole finishes. Get that turret up. Did they finish moving the power? No. See if we can prioritize this. Yes. Put that shield under high construction priority. Put this under higher priority. Maybe those. Maybe that will encourage them to do it before they bother with the logistics. Let's make sure we get this power also. Someone is already outside the ship. Working on the hull construction, that's fantastic. We'll build a scanner there as soon as, as soon as that's clear. We're going to have to build some internal walls here too. We can build those as the hull pops in. Madeline's going to complete the movement there. Jimmy and Tala are coming here to finish the weapon systems. Great. No harm in speeding this up a little bit. The hole is complete. That should bring Emerson back inside. Turn off the build menu so we can see the build progress. Okay, Jimmy's got the power up. We can link that to the grid immediately. A uh, smart way to do that would probably be this direction. And we can also double check the doors. Are there any doors? There's a hole here that I forgot. Incoming ship. That is Cult of New Haven, so not a pirate. That's good. They won't be here till tomorrow, so we might miss them. We're going to add a sensor. Do we have what we need for a sensor? I believe so. 
Don't look like a sensor needs an access way on one side of it like the other ones do. Okay. And I did mention a door here. You know, let's take a look at how the comfort level is doing now that we have doors. Wow, look at that. That's fantastic. We've dramatically improved the comfort of the industrial wing by adding doors. I don't even think they're finished adding all the doors, are they? Hmm, I suppose they are, but wow, look at that. That is going to improve life greatly. So the only time they're really going to experience this drastically terrible comfort is in the ship's hangar, which I suppose just a redesign of this is in order to shift these into their own little isolated rooms. What's the real issue here? It's just that each of these hangers contributes its own independent negative value to comfort. So you really want to isolate those in their own rooms. Just like this, the power generator, so bad. Okay, let's slow this down for a second and take a look at where we're at. So they did finish this. We need a weapons console can't use those weapons without a weapons console. Also, we need energy cells. Okay, so to get the weapons console in place, currently we have... Hold on. Why is this display? Okay. Currently we have operations console here, shields console here, navigation here. We need one additional console, which is going to be weapons. Um... I suppose what we want to do for now, we'll move shields here. We'll put weapons next to it. Did we save enough blocks to make a weapons console? Yes. Weapons console here. Right next to the shields. Next to that, we will have navigation. Um, actually, let's leave room for now for this hallway to continue. So this navigation I want to move over to. Just in case, I might actually move that over one more even. So that we can put a wall around the hallway if we need to. Uh, and finally, this. Operations console, we'll move over there. Not the final resting places for the consoles, but that's where they're going to be for now. Let's bump up. Uh, uh oh. Civilian ships. Oh, look, this ship arrived already. Let's do some trade. Hopefully, we can get some base metals out of this. What are they offering? Nothing that jumps out as me as a necessity, except maybe for an energy cell here. Quite expensive. What do they want? We do have a lot of... No, we don't have any optoelectronics. We really don't have anything that they want, unfortunately. I don't think that's true. We must have optoelectronics. And we definitely have three plastics, although it says none available. Hmm. So if... Hmm, if I had any of those, I would be willing to sell it, but it doesn't look like we even have the optoelectronics I thought we had. We're not going to bother to trade. Let's get this navigation console up first. That's really our highest priority. This one. Just in case we have to leave, I probably should have done these all one at a time instead of doing them all at once. But, you know, that's how we roll. Comfort levels looking good. Nothing has gone wrong in quite some time here. We are going to want doors to wall off these systems areas. 
I'm sure those are leading to discomfort. No, there's no comfort impact of the shields. Okay. Never mind then. We will leave them be. We do need to start planning lighting in the ship. Also, possibly another generator, although I don't think we'll have the energy to sustain another generator. So if we do start having power issues, I think the better bet is to start adding more capacitors rather than more generation. So it's not like we're running out of power, it's just we have fluctuations as industrial machines come online. Energy cells, noble, I mean, not noble, base metals, base metals, and energy cells. Energy cells require electronics. Electronics require base metals. So ultimately, base metals is what we need to continue. The civilian ships arriving, maybe they'll have some base metals. Those look like the logistics tasks are, are really piling up here at the in the grow room. However, the team is on another break, which means it's the end of their day. It looks like we might yeah, just have time to trade with the CS test, test pseudo again. Not the test pseudo, but the test pseudo. Uh, who have still don't have any base metals. I mean, why would they? We saw them only 24 hours ago or so. They didn't have them then. They're looking for energy and crystals. They're looking for fruit. Maybe we will try to trade away some of our fruit or vegetables for them. Seems to be we're making fruit and vegetables at a fairly good pace. Um, from the HS's horse, I'm going to offer you a handful of food if you give us some electronics. I want a couple electronics. Um, oh, I see. That's money they're giving us in addition. They uh, give us more electronics. We will give you six food for four electronics. Perfect. That will at least give us some energy cells so we can charge our shields. What is this complaining about? This one also needs energy shell cells and a console. They did finish the navigation systems. So if those pirates do show up, we will be ready for them. There's a lot to do, a lot left to do here before we can move on, but we're going to have to do it next time. So please join me for the next episode aboard the HSS Horus. Uh, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.